what's going on you guys and welcome back to another video i want to talk about why did the narcissist choose you so i'm gonna give a backstory on how i met the narcissist who i speak of in my videos so it started when i used to work at a certain school that was like a long distance from my house so that was one reason that I asked for a transfer because of the drive and the traffic getting back on my side of town where I live. And then on top of that, work itself was stressful. The people who I work with, they hardly came to work. We had more substitutes than regular workers. So it's like not only I got my own job to do, I have to show everybody else what to do. And the manager, she wasn't that easy to work under. She just wasn't. And she knew this because when I went to her to tell her I want to put in a transfer, I hesitated to do it because it was, I had like two good co-workers there that I hated to leave behind. But it's like they felt like they owed it to her to stay there. And I just didn't feel like I'm going to put myself through this you know, just to stay in a place that I'm used to. So I decided to put in a transfer. And it took a lot out of me to do that because that was my very first time ever putting in a transfer. So I was talking to the manager and she was like, what's wrong? It's me, huh? So it's like she kind of felt guilty at that moment when she seen that I was serious and I wanted, you know, I wanted to go be moved to another school. So I got my transfer, supervisor came in, she called me in the office, it was on a Thursday. She said, you um, got your transfer. And she told me where I will be working. I signed paperwork and stuff like that. And she said, you know, I had started that next day on a Friday. So she was like, and you don't have to tell the others that today is your last day. They'll find out tomorrow. I let everybody know at the breakfast break. And I'm like, okay. But two of the people already knew that I was leaving. The others, they didn't know and it didn't matter. Because those are the ones who made it stressful. Hardly ever coming to work and just a lot of other stuff and drama. And I just didn't want to be in that environment anymore. It just did something to my spirit. So I had to get away from them. And once I transferred, I felt like weight was lifted off my shoulder that had been holding me down for years i moved on to this other school and the narcissist wasn't there like full time she would only come there to work like two hours and she would leave go back to her site so i didn't really know her then we didn't communicate we barely spoke however she got switched out with another employee and once the other employee took her place at the other site, she come to work there full time. So this is when she and I got more acquainted because she noticed that I was like, she noticed that I was a quiet person, didn't really socialize with the other people as much. I mean, I talk to people at work, but to just feel like I got to be a part of the crowd, that's just not of my personality. And she noticed that about me. Also, once we begin to talk, it's funny that as soon as we met, she started to have car trouble. And I guess she picked up on the fact that I was, I guess she looked at me like I'm a, I'm a nice person. I was nice to talk to and stuff like that. But every time when we were talking about the reason why I transferred, now this is the part where the narcissist they kind of fill you out so they could know how to use you better and once i start to go into details and let her know what i had to deal with at the other school she i guess that was her way of planning out her strategies on how she'll you know hoover me or pull me in as one of her supplies so and that's what ended up happening but I didn't know no better then. And first it started off with her just feeling like you need this to feel better. And sometimes, I mean, it's nice for people to, to bring you things, you know, just to make you feel better. 
But to do it like every day was something that I never questioned, but it happened. She was bringing me things every day. And um, when she bring her own lunch to work, she would already have mine fixed to the side. And it's just like she always had things laid out for me already. She started, you know, doing whatever I needed done in my work area. She had already started on it or something to set my area up. So I never had a choice. Now, mind you, I went through this for five years and I'm just now realizing what she was doing. And I'm just now taking my own power back and doing things my way. So the thing is, that's what she did to lure me in as someone who she can manipulate and take control over. But I wasn't thinking about things like that. I just seen her as being a good friend, but she wasn't a friend. She was somebody who who just played mind games and she knew that she can do that to me at that time. Now, when I even would mention what had happened at the other job, it's like she would quickly get off the subject to bring up something else. Like, um, you know, like you want to go out and eat tonight or something like that. Like that'll make me feel better. But I'm not talking about this with you. You know, sometimes you just need to vent to someone and you expecting them to listen to you, to be that listening ear or that shoulder to cry on. And she just wasn't that. She was never a shoulder to cry on. It's like she's not built strong to be a strong support system. But she's the type of person who can shower you with things. And I just never understood that because buying me things don't make me feel good. So I never really got over, you know, the stress in a smooth transition away from the other school when I got there. When you find out that you have been used by a narcissist for as long as I had, it's like it's starting all over again. I'm just in a different location. But I did this video just to say that's the reason why the narcissists pick you. Because first they fill you out, they listen to you, pour your heart out and tell them, you know, whatever has happened with you in the past. And they, they feel for the vulnerable parts. They they understand that it's, you know, there's a softer side of you. There's a, a side of you that can really use a good friend. And so that's when they are able to play their role and pretend to be somebody that they're not. And that's how they get you. And so on the road to recovery, I sometimes just look back at that and I even get mad at myself sometimes. Like, how didn't you like know? How didn't, why didn't you pick up on? Why didn't you know why I had to take so long before you realize? But you know, everything happens for a reason and in divine time. And so I'm just glad that I it came to the point where I finally realized who she really is. And so more focused on self-care, self-love, put myself first and not really worried about pleasing anybody else. I'm just not. I mean, I'm going to always be that same on me. But when it comes to pleasing somebody, sometimes I got to remind myself, look, you don't have to do that. I mean, let them think whatever they're going to think. You know you're not that type of way. But sometimes you just got to sit it out and let people take care of things on their own. You just can't always be there for every, every single moment of a person's life when they feel like, you know, that you they expect you to be there. And so, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I want to talk about in this video is why the narcissist choose you because they know that you're vulnerable they know the situation you're coming out of and so you're just the right supply that they need so anyway that concludes this video if you all enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below let's have a discussion and as always thank you for watching and i'll talk to you soon